Today in our 2018 Dodge Durango, we're going to be installing Takancha's T1 vehicle wiring harness, part number 118617. This vehicle wiring harness is going to provide your trailer with all the necessary lighting. This includes the left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps, and brake lamps, so it will be DOT compliant in all states. One of the nicest things about this harness is that it has a module that will intercept the signals at each of your left and right tail lamp assemblies. It'll see those signals and then generate its own signal and send it back here to our connector. This module has its own dedicated power circuit that is fused, so if there's any faults on your trailer, the fuse will just open to our module and it won't affect any of your vehicle wiring. So you can correct your trailer's faults and then just replace the fuse and you're ready to get back on the road. There's a dust cap located on the end to help keep out any dirt and debris when you're not using it. This will help ensure you have a long lasting connection. And Additionally, it can be used to hold your harness up out of the way by hooking it onto one of the safety chain loops on your hitch. We'll begin our installation here at the rear of the vehicle by removing both of our driver's and passenger side taillight assemblies. We'll start here on our driver's side. And we're going to use a flat bladed screwdriver to pop out the center of this push pin here. And then we can pop out the rest of the push pin. We'll do the same for the lower push pin. And then we can pop out our taillight assembly by pulling rearward. I like to use a plastic trim panel remover tool to help pop it rearward. This just makes it a little easier to get it to release from its pushed in tabs. Here on the back side, we'll disconnect our electrical connector by pressing in on the release tab there and pulling outward. We'll set our taillight assembly aside and perform the same steps on the other side to get that taillight removed. We'll now run our wiring up to our connector here. We're gonna use a piece of airline tubing as fish wire and it's gonna make it a lot easier to get your wiring up. So we're gonna go down through the opening here and just run it down. You can see daylight, so just kind of follow that path until you get it to come out the bottom. We'll now take our fish wire and some electrical tape and tape our new harness to that fish wire. So this is a pretty large connector. So I do recommend that you get the tape all the way around the connector so that way it can't bend over sideways and get caught on anything. And then we're just going to pull it back up. Once we've got our connector pulled up, we can disconnect our fish line and we're going to connect it to our factory connector. We can now reconnect our driver side tail light to our new harness. You'll reinstall your tail lamp assembly in reverse order of how you removed it. You'll just push your push pins back into place to reinstall those. It's a good idea now to drop your fish wire down on your passenger side so you're prepared to pull that side up once we've got it routed across. So we're going to drop that down now. We're going to route our green wire connector now from our driver's side over towards our passenger side. You want to try and get away from your exhaust as best as possible. We're just going to take ours up above our hitch and just try and stay above the hitch as we go across. We'll now take the black wire that comes in our kit. We're gonna strip some of it back. And I'm gonna strip a little bit more back on the black wire coming off of our module. And we're gonna connect the black wire to our module with the yellow butt connector. We've decided to upgrade ours from the butt connectors that come in the kit to heat shrink butt connectors. You can pick those up here at eTrailer.com and they'll keep out any moisture from causing any damage and corrosion from occurring. We'll then shrink down our butt connector with a heat cut. Next, we'll connect our ground wire using the self-tapping screw that comes in the kit with a quarter inch socket. So we're just gonna feed it up in here above our exhaust we're going to run it into the frame right here. We're not going to mount our module. It's a good idea to use some alcohol on a rag to clean the area where you're going to stick it to to make sure you have good adhesion. This just cleans off all the debris. All right. We'll then peel one side of the backing off of our adhesive pad. We're going to stick it to the back side of our module.
We'll then take the backing off the other side of our module. Now we're going to stick it on the frame right where we just cleaned off. We're then going to route our four pole connector wire over towards our hitch here. Then we can use our dust cap to secure it to the safety chain loop. We'll take our green wire that we routed across now. We're gonna tape it to our fish wire that we ran down. And we can then pull our wire up. We'll then remove it from our fish wire, connect it to our factory harness here. We'll use one of the zip ties that comes in our kit. We're gonna zip tie up this excess green wire here. This way we don't have to worry about it dropping down and coming into contact with our exhaust or any of that shenanigans. We'll now plug our new harness into our taillight assembly and reinstall our taillight assembly just like we did on the other side. In preparation for routing our wiring up to our engine compartment, we're going to run our fish wire down again. We're on our passenger side and we're going to route it down this opening here because there is a factory wiring harness that runs down. We're going to follow it through its opening. We'll now need to route our black wire up to the front of our vehicle so we can get it into our engine compartment. I'm going to route that wire now and then I'll show you the path I took to get it there. We started by running our wire across our hitch onto this side of our spare tire. We then came forward and we went up over top of the heat shield here for our tire, going up above our fuel lines, above our suspension components, until we hit our factory wiring here. Here we just followed that factory wiring all the way up. Because when you're routing your wire, you wanna make sure that you don't come into contact with any moving objects, such as your steering and suspension, or anything excessively hot, such as your exhaust, so if we follow this factory wiring, we know that it's already going to be routed in a safe manner that's away from all those dangerous components. So we just follow it on up right to here. And this is where we drop down our fish wire from before. So we're just going to go ahead and connect that to it with some electrical tape here. And I do recommend when you're putting wire onto a fish wire, electrical tape that you go all the way up, even slightly above the wire, to give it a smooth transition so the wire doesn't get caught on anything. Now we'll pull that wiring up. And it's always a good idea to double check back down below to make sure that your wiring didn't get caught on anything and that you've got it all the way pulled up. We'll take our wiring here, we're gonna push it through this little foamy spot right there. And that'll bring it right to where we're going to be making our connection here at our fuse box. Press both these tabs and you can open that on up. And that's the nut we're going to need to remove to connect our harness. We're going to prepare our harness real quick before we do that. So you'll cut your harness in half. We're going to strip back both ends of our harness. On one side, we're gonna connect a yellow ring terminal. This comes with your kit. And on the other side, you're gonna connect a yellow butt connector. Once again, we're upgrading ours to that heat shrink butt connector. Keep out any moisture. And we're now gonna connect it to our fuse box. We'll now remove this nut with a 13 millimeter socket. We'll set our ring terminal on the post, and then we're just gonna reinstall that nut. We'll now take our black wire, we're gonna trim it to length. We don't need all this. Strip it back, and crimp it on to the other end of our butt connector here for our fuse harness. We'll shrink it down with our heat gun. 
we can now install our fuse into our fuse harness and then test our system out. You can now connect your four pole connector here to either your trailer or a tester. We're gonna plug it into our tester here. And you can pick up one of these testers here at eTrailer.com. And now we'll verify our signals by testing our left turn, our right turn, tail lamps, and brake lamps. And with everything working properly, we're ready to hit the road. And that completes our installation of the Conscious T1 vehicle wiring harness on our 2018 Dodge Durango.